Yo dudes, it's MC Pazza here in the house, literally the house, as you can see, uh, with my baseball cap on at a regulation uh, 90 degree angle for a hip hop rap um, selection uh, of my, I would say about half a Expedit Kallax shelf of um, 12s and albums that I acquired many, many moons ago working in a tiny um, suburban record shop, um, just hanging in at the end of that tube there of, uh, of the big smoke <clears throat> and a few one pound uh, fines that I don't think I've ever, might have shown a couple of them before. Um, anyway, so I was at secondary school late 80s. And there was two groups. <clears throat> yeah, there was your metal heads. You know, maybe they were into a bit, a bit of prog and um, um, rock. You know, hair metal and all that. Um, and then there was in the soccer football team. There was more, more your hip hops. And yeah, no, I don't think anybody ever stole from our school like a, a Mercedes or a VW badge. I, I can't quite remember now anyway one of the guys in our football team went on to be a sky sports um currently i think um um football presenter uh reporter call it what you will um via journalism but um he was definitely into your hip-hop and your um your rap anyway so without further ado um we shall go on with uh, my small but sweet collection of um, this genre. Probably much maligned in the VC I would have thought. In, in, well, some, some people probably do show it. Um, maybe it's the sort of genre that people are into it, they're not into much else, I don't know. Just putting it out there. And um, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't ever remember seeing many many people um, showing this kind of stuff but if you do I challenge you to or even if you've got them on CD I suppose Supra Wes he's one who's got a lot of um, hip hop rap over in America uh, shout out to him <laughs> um, right okay so we'll start I don't have any like Grandmaster Mel Mel I don't think or anything like that but we'll start off with this dude I don't know whether this is hip hop rap but it was certainly so this is certainly something that probably a lot of you have seen, or you might even have in your collection. So this is, um, you know, the um, round the outside, round the outside, um, slim shady sample thing going on there. Um, so what's this called, this album? I can't even remember what it's called now. Duck Rock, with its um, six tracks, so, or a mini LP, I suppose. And this is uh, 1983. And then, is a 12? Do you like scratching? I hope this isn't, I'm almost not going to do a character like Vinyl Dale's um, character. <laughs> I suppose I could, but anyway. Um, another album here. This is sort of weird. This is a weird album. This has got like all sort of like opera sort of stuff on this. I found this, I'm oh, sorry, I swapped this with a mate. At a record fair, yeah. So, not hugely into those, but I've got them. Somebody else who I'm not hugely else into, but I found with a huge amount of Christian albums that I um, pertained from eBay, ooh, long, long time ago. Anyway, I've got a triptych of uh, his albums. Uh, an American, not particularly cool rapper called Carmen. As in car man, not the opera. So this one's got um, this one's got spirit filled pizza on it, and um, that's eighty four. And then we've got um, so I just want to get them right way round. I'm very hip, am I? <laughs> and then we've got this one here. A little bit more conviction. One of the tracks on there. If you go to YouTube, which you are on now anyway, you can find some of these uh, 
these tracks. This one's a bit scruffy looking and water damaged, but it's got water damaged. It's got a great track called A Witch's Invitation on it. Don't want to be dabbling in that kind of um, paraphernalia. <clears throat> right, quick swig of the old um, ma, ma juice. Mm. Mm. Coffee from the uh, supermarket chain. Mm. <clears throat> so I've just seen this morning that um, um, the um, internet company that you can order everything off. I don't are going to be doing supermarket deliveries in the UK so yeah more cardboard everybody <laughs> right I haven't got much or I haven't got any I don't think like gangster rap this is uh, your stoner rap isn't it this is just Cypress Hill second album Black Sunday with very interestingly I just remembered The uh, dangers for the uh, scientific evidence. <laughs> How middle class am I look? Cutting from something like the Independent or something. Yeah, Independent on Sunday. Here we go. An article about cannabis. Look at that. Just smells of news newspaper, unfortunately. I don't think there's any um, any uh, grains in here. I'd have to be honest and say I don't really play this. It sounds the same, whether you're stoned or not, really. The thing about hip-hop rap I like is the sample element. Not, to be honest, the message or whatever. Now, this is in here. This actually does have some giant uh, free Rizzlers with it. I don't know that this, is, this isn't really hip-hop, but somehow this has got in here. Nightmares on Wax on Warp, a very good soul, oh, soul funk, I don't even know what you would call this sort of music really, but anyway, there they are on the back, I mean they look cool don't they there, so first couple of bands that people really got into were, were this lot, I think, this is uh, Beastie Boys, this is um, Hold it now, hit it. And I think I'd pick this up for a quid or something somewhere. Uh, I don't think this is on an album. I don't think this is on the first album, but I might well be mistaken. Also somewhere got um, that track that wasn't on an album somewhere on 7-inch. Uh, it's called... Uh, I had the video with them. On the beach, ogling at ladies, bikinis. Now, what was it called? She's on it. Yeah, it's a 12-inch I would have bought back in the day. So you got fight for your right. Time to get ill. No sleep till Brooklyn. Those would have been bought. 1987. And then I followed suit with this album. I think this is my original vinyl copy of um, License to Ill. And then sometime later, this got reissued. So I got this. I mean, this is a great album. If you ever want to dip into Beastie Boys, I would suggest you start with this, actually. It's more representative of uh, sort of what they were, what they were going for. Um, and then the next one, I think by the next one, they've gone more... Uh, multi-instrumentalist and I think this has Mo, this Money Mark guy on it I think there's certainly more uh, this is by 1992 they've got more rock based I suppose and I did have the one after it Ill Communication but I don't appear to have it anymore so one of those many 90s records or some of the 90s records I used to have I sold so um, I regret yeah I regret that now but um, this, I think I found this in um, um, up in Notting Hill Gate, up in the record and tape exchange. So it says, To my man, Toshi, stay in effect, keep the vibe going. Peace and thanks from Guru, 93. 
that is definitely original. I can't think that anybody would forge that. So this is a, is this even a promo copy? Well, it's got a stamp on it. This is a great album. If any of you know the film La Hen, um, you will check that out as well. There's an amazing scene in that where um, they're sort of panning around the buildings and then there's like your Edith Piaf or something mixed in with um, some hip hop and stuff. Yo. Derek B. Put it from a gun. 1988. Uh. <laughs> well, this is a good record, I'd say. You know, definitely found this for a quid um, on XL. Many times jumped up and down to that record. This is something I don't think I've even played, actually. I found this for a quid. Hello, Cool J. Walking with a Panther. Ladies. And then... Um, Mama said, knock you out. I mean, that is a good track. Right. Hippie. To delving into a bit of hippie rap here. This is a good 12. This is before they had their number one hit um, with the something Spandau Ballet. And as I say, not in any particular order. Well, I don't know. Is this uh, Well, this has ended up in my rap section anyway. This is like an album sampler, I think. By this time, I wasn't really into uh, this sort of music. Oh, there's even a track featuring Justin Timberlake on it. I think it's the pump it one that's the good one from, um, you know, the guitar thing from um, Pulp Fiction. Ah, oh, conscious, conscientious guys, white rap. Consolidated industrial music is fascism. You suck. And a day on the green, that's a great track. That's not hip hop, but um, yeah. That actually. Here's a record where I got rid of it and found it somewhere for a quid. I was very fortunate to do that. Tone Loke. Now this would be one for um, Mr. Hall of Fame because I think this cover is different from the um, um, UK one. That's the American one, sorry. All the hits on there. Lena Cherry. Now this is my original copy. I have stumbled across copies of it. I would have thought this is probably quite hip again now. She's got quite muscly arms, hasn't she? And then <clears throat> I like this album when it. This is a follow-up. I like did like this album when it came out. It's got a Michael Stipe track on it, but I found it on vinyl somewhere. This is called uh, Homebrew. I don't know what happened to her afterwards. I don't know. Did she take the fat, go and have kids and stuff, and then um, anyway, Belbiv Devo poison, another pound find there. Ah, you cool stuff here. Isn't it? This is uh, a Tribe Called Quest debut album, I think. Bonita Applebum, push it along. And then almost inevitably that one. Fishbone, so that's another um rap rock kinda thing going on there. And a couple of twelves by this lot, they were huge one year. Is this ninety two? Yeah, ninety two. That one, and Tennessee. Hmm. Love Bug Starsky, Amity, Amityville. Sort of like a comedy rap, I guess you would say. Don't even know what that one is, but it's in there. And it's tricky.
down with the king. Run DMC, your greatest hits, my Adidas. Of course, that one that Jason Nevins did is on there as well, the original version of it. It's like that, and that's where it is. Christmas in Hollis, you'll be healing. King of Rock. Ah. Oh. Only a few more to go now. We've got. Uh, got here. <clears throat> now this samples. This is a uh, young black teenagers uh, to my donna. So it samples there uh, just to find my love, Madonna. MCA. MCA. And lastly, uh, 12 of this. I think this was from their second album, Ring, Ring, Ring. Yeah, not so keen on that. But the other out, crucial album I would probably say to have would be this. If you can find a copy of this, this, yeah, well, this is my original copy. And you know, I got this, believe it or not, in a record shop sale. <laughs> Obviously, the area where it was in, nobody wanted it, nobody knew what it was, so I grabbed it. Could that even have been like a fiver? I mean, I don't know what it's worth now. It's been repressed, I know that. And actually, I was at a record fair. Um, yeah, it was about a year ago. And someone I know, their son, um, he paid for a scratched version of this. Scratched in the bad sense of the word, was it like 50 quid or something? And then he could have had 15 pounds a repress. So the lengths some people go to, um, you know, have originals and whatnot, it's just like crazy. So, I hope you've enjoyed that trip down memory lane. Um, bringing it up at about 18 minutes. Um, yeah, if you've got any hip hop, or if you've got stuff that you've never shown, that would be really interesting to see. I mean, I could definitely do a few, couple of videos of embarrassing stuff, and um, if that wasn't embarrassing enough <laughs> to some of you, maybe. <coughs> yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Um, hope summer 2020 sort of turns out better than... Um, maybe a lot of you have had so far this year. Um, and um, I'll just call it a day and um, catch up with you all soon. Cheers. Or yo. <laughs> Bye.